Hello and welcome back. So now that we are able to actually read stuff from our database, it would be nice to be able to um, to update a record, for example. So let's see how we can go about doing that. Now, inside of the database class, we already have a update thingy here, which we haven't really fixed. So let's see how we can fix it from the point of view of the database. Now, what we already have is a way to run stuff here, right? But now, if you're updating, for example, there's no need to actually fetch anything because you are updating. So there's no need to actually fetch. However, if you are selecting, then you need to fetch something. So, well, this is where query type actually comes in. So I'm going to set a very default value in here, which is select like that. So we can use the query type in order to determine what exactly to do in a situation. So let me copy that query type here and let me come to right about inside this run thingy here. So up to about this point there, everything will work exactly the same. There's going to be a query and then we're going to execute that query. Regardless what the query is, these two lines remain the same. Things only change when we get to if check here. Now, if check will always be there as well because we have to know if this statement went well or not. And then if it didn't go well, we can then return false. In all instances, regardless of the, the query, we have to return false if the query didn't execute. So up to this point, we are good. However, this part right here is what is different. This only applies to when you are selecting. So let's create a switch statement here. So I'm going, just going to say uh, switch like so. Okay. So what variable do we want to switch? And the variable is query type, but it's inside the instance. So we'll say this query type. So in case you're confused as to when to use this with an arrow like this and when to use self, it is just to look at the static. So every time it's static, use the dot dot or double colon. When there's no static, you use the arrow. So this query type, that is what we are switching. So we are checking whether the type is select or whether the type is update. So I want to just, uh, so the default will just be break, which is select. So no biggie there. Let me just uh, duplicate this like so, and then put update here. So we're going to put some more select, update, and then obviously we will need one for the uh, delete. What else is there? There's selecting, there's updating, there's deleting. It's what, crud? It's like this, crud. Create, read, update, delete. So there's insert, which is different from update. So let's do that as well. Let's use insert. And then we'll have one more for the delete. Let's come here. Hoop. We don't need this crud anymore. The crud. Okay, so we have select, update, insert, and delete. So, yep, this is how we are doing it for every case situation. So, I'm going to cut this out and only supply this where there is the select. I will replace the code, but I kind of like this code text. So I'll leave it there and just put this in order, like so. All right then. So now at least we have something different to return. But if we are updating, I just want to return true if things went well, right? So here we just say return true. And that's it. 
and break and then insert as well if the insert went well uh, I want to return true now it's also possible for you instead of returning true to return the ID of the inserted value that can be helpful sometimes so we can see we'll see if we need that you can return the ID of the newly inserted thing same with update but update for you to update something it means you already know the ID because you're looking for it specifically so this is only this only makes sense in the insert delete you can also return if you want instead of just deleting you can return the row that was deleted if you want to so we're going to see all that how uh, that could be useful sometimes okay that is if we will have time to do that so for now uh, this is working out fine so here when we go to let's say the select I am supposed to save this this query type and change it to a very specific type now since the default is select I may leave it out but you never know because this is the same instance we may have just run an, a different query and then the the value would be different so I'm just going to explicitly announce that the query type is select so I'm going to copy that and go to update and update the query type to update update like so mm -hmm. so we have select we have update very nice so now when we are updating here so the question is do we supply uh, the update variables in here or what so there is let me come back here for a second where is the where okay there it is so where mm -hmm. so as you can see in the where here we are actually adding to whatever the query is that's existing and then we add a where clause and then we do a run which is very convenient so in the update all we need to do is create a query that suits what we want so let me copy this because most of this is going to be the same so i'm going to put that here i'm going to say this query is equal to select so instead of this uh, i'm going to say update and then we update the table so leave a space there update table and then that's it uh -huh. and now we want to use the data that is here to create a query so i'm going to say values here now we can't afford for values to be empty right it needs to have something so i will not put a default value here just to make sure that it should be done now you can do uh, type hinting like this to make sure that whatever comes in is actually an array and they need to throw a fatal error if that isn't true so that can help to avoid catastrophes sometimes or deletion of wrong information sometimes because the the if this is not a valid array everything will stop here okay so from here what we need to do is fabricate a query using that array so i'm just going to go through the for each loop and say for each values like that whatever values we brought in let's create a constructive proper query we're going to say update table and then here we want to put set like so so update table set and then now we need our values here so i will put the opening a bracket because usually what is what it is is like this set oh there's no brackets here set and then a column equal to a value so I'm just this is the key and the value so all I need to do is concatenate to this query so here I will just do that and say dot equals and I want to apply the key and then dot and then put an equal sign like so and then add to it the value now the thing is we're not actually going to be adding actual values per se right this is not uh what we're going to be doing 
what we will do instead because we want to use prepared statements I want us to put uh, a full colon like that and then concatenate key again not value but key like that okay very good so once we have that we are good but then we've lost all the values here because we don't have them but what we can do is save them to the instance while we wait because here we can only return the instance we can't return uh, anything else so we have to save them at the top here so I'm just going to put values here then we can save it to values so let me come down here to the update and then right here before we return I will say this values is equal to values alrighty then uh, I think we are in business and then once now we we move from update we're going to go to the uh, where clause here okay the where clause now the thing is uh, since we've set our update here uh, where okay mm -hmm. so these values that come here are the values from for the where clause and then the values that we have on the other side are for the uh, these values here are for the actual query now there will be no need to do this if you're going to add actual query uh, actual values here in the query but we want to use prepared statements this is why I don't want to actually use values in there to limit the possibility of being hacked at all cost so these values hopefully this is the only way to do this yeah because we are not calling anything else here so no choice all right so let's do a switch statement here to determine the where whereabouts of the where clause wait a minute wait a minute update let me come to the top here hmm let me set this to an empty array just so it's always an array like that that usually helps and then let's do another switch statement here but instead of type we're going to do it for actually it is for type so right here on the where clause So what I want to do is just add one if statement so the only time that we need values like that is no actually it's not only on the select but also on the uh, insert so which means we do need to know the type so here I'm going to do a switch statement just like we did on the other side and put the query type and then here the query type is going to be the select like so and then for now I want to duplicate this and do the update we'll add more as we go so okay just like that and so this one is going to go uh, into the select right there okay copy let me copy this to the update but before I do this I need to oh wait a minute where uh -huh. this run values okay so copy that put it here And I'll do the same thing here like that but now in the run where is the run here 
Where is the run? Okay, so I need to supply those values in the run. So let me come back here for a second. Run values. Okay, so where values empty where okay so these values here will go there as intended for the where clause hmm wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute here okay so we have values over there okay great let's see what we need to do here so once we reach here we are supposed to have values at the top there. So instead of just uh, these values, what we need to do now is add the two values together. So I'm going to say values, which has just come in here, which may have values. Uh, I'm going to say is equal to array merge. So let's merge two arrays here. The first array we're going to merge is inside these values. And then the second array is just going to be values like so. And once we are done merging the two, then we can put the where clause with the where clause and then run the values like the way it is. Okay, so let's see if, uh, things will work out as we want them to work out here and we'll do that in the next video.